latest around the wide world of tropics. Tropical Weather Bulletin for June 23rd. Right now, Tropical Storm 6W still awaiting an official name from the JMA, although they've now at least acknowledged it as a tropical cyclone, as a depression at that. Um, it's day 174 around the world on this day. 34 storms have formed so far by our estimates. In the Atlantic, it's day 23 of hurricane season. The remnants of Claudette now pushing through towards uh, the Canadian Maritimes. And the two areas of interest now, um, the first one that we already had, and a new one there off the coast of Africa, possibly an early start to the main development region there. Two 20% zones right now. Day 39 in the Eastern Pacific, and we now have an 80% chance on that Eastern system that will be pushing its way towards the coast of Mexico. Models have been rather bold on uh, the, their predictions. Could be a significant hurricane along the coast of Mexico next week. Uh, currently active right now in the Western Pacific, of course, Tropical Storm 6W. Nothing else in the uh, pipeline anytime soon, but this system will be recurving off towards the north and then the northeast, affecting probably the Ogasawara Island chain of Japan. In the southern Indian Ocean, we have designated a 10% area that is now starting to churn up just a little bit off the coast of Indonesia. So that's in the southern Indian Ocean, uh, and that has a very low chance of forming, obviously, so far out of the usual season bounds, but that's something to keep an eye on. So this is what the Atlantic satellite imagery looks like right now, and you can see uh, what's going on. Um, Claudette sweeping off away from our picture now. Um, big flare-ups over Mexico today by the looks of things, uh, but generally looking fairly quiet. You can see that tropical wave there uh, further towards the east in the main development region. Uh, Eastern Pacific. Uh, towards the right hand side of the image there over the water uh, there's some weak rotation that's that system that's 80 percent to its west there will be another area that will uh, probably establish itself that's what we've given a 20 percent chance for in the western pacific you can see the progress of tropical storm 6w and its progress has been rather stunted actually um, all of the convection really has been on the north and northeastern side of the storm's center and it's not managed to get itself um, going properly yet certainly not for sustained convection and um, models are suggesting maybe in the next 12 hours that it might have another struggle before it starts to intensify a bit more and this is the indian ocean you can start to see just the first traces of that uh, rotation there off the uh, of the coast of Sumatra in Indonesia uh, towards the southwest there so that's squarely south of the equator uh, so that's something to look for as I said so this is the uh, tropical storm 6w on the Himawari 8 imagery as well clearing Guam now and over the uh, Philippine Sea uh, big cloud tops no mistake about that but a lot of dry air encapsulating that system really um, on most sides so it's struggling this is a look at the Eastern Pacific again, a floater imagery, or rather our specialized uh, close-up of this potential system. You can see that weak rotation, not very organized. Uh, early stages of this system, uh, it was uh, blowing up a lot more convection when it was over the uh, Central American um, peninsula, uh, but now it is a little bit weaker by the looks of things, but it will come back and it will probably affect the coast of Mexico as at least a tropical storm in around five days time. Sea surface temperatures look like this, uh, still creeping up along the coast of Mexico, so this is going to be quite important when we watch this storm coming through, potential storm 30 degrees Celsius generally um, along the coast there in places like Oaxaca um, and Chiapas in Mexico um, and further west and looking at the uh, Atlantic Ocean fairly warm there in the Gulf of Mexico pretty much what it was looking at on yesterday's update Eastern Caribbean not particularly warm compared to the west though uh, which might stop any early waves the Indian Ocean looking fairly warm there and still sufficiently warm enough for that tropical, uh, tropical development 10% in the South Indian Ocean in the Western Pacific, uh, where 6W is right now, no problems with sea surface temperature. It's going to be above 28 degrees Celsius, 30 degrees even, um, as the storm pushes towards the northwest. And that will remain the case for around two, maybe three days, depending on its movement speed. 
looking at the sea surface temperature anomalies um, the western pacific generally a little bit above average um, just a little cold trail there in the subtropical zone eastern pacific a much more pronounced cold area there and in the tropical zone too so la nina a little bit of evidence of that there the atlantic generally above average gulf of mexico though it's about half and half on June 23rd, 2015, we had Tropical Storm Kujiro, which was uh, just about to move off uh, the uh, coast of um, Hainan Island and into the Gulf of Tonkin before making landfall in Vietnam. But we also had a tropical depression that was making landfall in Gujarat in India on this day, and that's what's pictured there. Um, and that caused severe flooding issues for the region. Uh, on this day section, powered by Cyclone History, our other handle you can find uh, their posts on twitter for cyclone history every day with information so uh, the next storm in the atlantic will be named danny uh, whether that becomes from any of these systems on the radar or not remains to be seen in the eastern pacific the next name is enrique in the central pacific we're still waiting for hone in the Western Pacific, looks like it's getting closer to time for the name Champi. In the North Indian Ocean, the next name is Gulab. In the Southern Hemisphere, time running out for the Southwest Indian Ocean before the names switch over on the 1st of July. Kanga is the next name on this year's list this season. The Australian region, Paddy's next up in the South Pacific. The next name is Cody. That's all for now. We'll see you again tomorrow at our next Tropical Weather Bulletin.